What's going on everyone? My name is Mike and you guys are watching Mr. Mike 12,000. So today I have another review set for you guys and today we're going to be taking a close look at the Rode microphone, the VideoMic Pro. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. All right guys, so here it is, the Rode VideoMic Pro. As you guys can see right here, it does say Rode Microphones. Then it actually has a picture of the VideoMic Pro right here. Uh, on the side here, on the right hand side, we do have some examples of people actually using the VideoMic Pro uh, in real life with their DSLR cameras. Uh, so let's take a look at the side now. On the side of this, and I wanna actually zoom in on this. Um, on the side here, it does say that it has a 10 year warranty and over 70 hours of battery life. Um, and then it has the actual name again. When we flip this over to the other side here, uh, it does say other than the URL, all it has is the actual, it's like a, uh, it's like a cutout of a rectangle actually. I don't know how to really describe it, uh, but that's what it looks like. Then when we make our way to this side, uh, we actually do have a picture of someone physically using uh, the VideoMic Pro. A larger picture of uh, the front. So, let's, uh, let's take this to open inside and see what's inside of here. Um, so on the left hand side, uh, we do have what the VideoMic Pro looks like on the back and then a side view of it. Uh, also over here, uh, we have all the controls and all the options that you could use on the VideoMic Pro and what it has to offer. Now when we get to the right side, um, this is what I really like. Um, when you actually open this box, it gives you a live view of what the VideoMic Pro actually looks like. As you can see, it is a shotgun mic microphone and it does look like that. It does say VideoMic Pro. Um, and then this is like a little example of what it actually looks like. So, let's open this up. Oh, I forgot. And on the back, um, it does have the Rode Broadcast family. So, it gives you all of Rode's microphones. And you can see what they actually do look like. So, let's open this up. So, when we take this out, it is in single packaging and then we have some video mic pro uh, quick start guide in there uh, along with what are they I'm not sure what these are um, but it comes with extra extra accessories if you uh, lose the ones that are on the actual microphone so here it is guys, it is the Rode video mic. Um, this is what it looks like, let's take it out of the box. Pops out just like that. This is your 3.5 millimeter uh, jack so you could plug it into your DSLR camera. Let me get a close up of this so you guys can see what it looks like. There we go. That's your 3.5 millimeter jack and this is the Rode video mic. So. My hand's pretty big. Uh, it's probably the size of my hand. Um, but the microphone itself is very small and it's very compact, just like the front of the box actually says. Uh, the front of the box says compact shotgun microphone. So let's, uh, let's test this baby out. Uh, this is basically what it looks like though. Uh, around the cover it does say Rode right here and then it does have the company name again right here. On the bottom here, uh, this is where you slide it onto your DSLR camera and then you are going to simply turn it to the left to tighten it, and spin it to the right to loosen it. On the back, uh, we do have a couple functions. Let me focus this. We do have a couple functions. Uh, this is to turn on and off. Um, and right now, it's at plus 20. This is the frequency. Um, if I put it over to negative 10, it is at negative 10 frequency. Um, now it's at negative, or now it's at zero. And now it's at plus 20 frequency and then as you guys can see it does say Rode microphone right there again so the branding name is all over it they are trying to make a statement with that um, but yeah let's try this on the on my uh, DSLR camera actually right now and see how it does all right guys so the audio recording right now is without and I repeat without the Rode VideoMic Pro installed so let's install it and let's see if we hear any difference uh, between the regular microphone that is built into the DSLR camera versus the actual Rode VideoMic uh, it should create a difference and I'm going to have it on plus 20 for the frequency so let's see how it does 
and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I do have the Rode VideoMic Pro installed right now. I did just turn it on so it is on flat. Uh, and we are going to try it also on high pass filter. So we'll see how it goes with that. But this is the Rode VideoMic Pro installed and working. Uh, right now it is in use. And this is on flat. So let's test it out and see how it is on high pass filter. Alright everyone, so this is the Rode VideoMic Pro on a high pass filter. Uh, this is the second setting you could actually set the VideoMic Pro uh, to actually do. Um, they have the off button, they have the on button which is flat, and they also have the high pass filter which you are listening to right now. Uh, you might hear some extra noise in the background because I am in my basement, uh, but other than that this should be pretty clear. And I hope you guys could see the difference between flat and the actual microphone that's built into the DSLR camera itself. Um, you should see a big difference uh, because this microphone is one of the top ones on the line right now. So this is the VideoMic Pro on high pass filter. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about the Rode VideoMic Pro or any of my videos in particular, please leave them in the comments box below. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to Mr. Mike 12,000 for the greatest and latest updates, blogs, reviews, and gameplays. I'm out, guys. This has been the Rode VideoMic Pro unboxing, review, and whatever else you want to call it. Peace.